Five. This your girl Lily Katie coming back with a love message. I was brought back to my table because I'm seeing synchronicity. Seeing one one one. So seven seven seven. So your person has a message for you. So let's see what your person has to say. Ancestors kids of the highest white light. Please give me channel messages from my um collective person as well. Let's know what's going on in this connection. I feel like this connection was put at a halt. And it was for a reason, yeah. It ain't a permanent ending though. It was an ending. Somebody took some action or failed to take some action. Alright? Maybe it's what they won doing. Spirit said, what you won doing. Or maybe it was what they was doing that was fucked up. You never know. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to the bottom of it today, y'all. Alright. Let's see. Alright. Okay, page of wands in reverse. Somebody wasn't communicating something. So that's the, the first card is always the strongest. Somebody wasn't communicating something. Some feelings they had could have been. Somebody was, it's that lack of communication that's between you top two that caused this connection to be stagnant, to be uh, toxic, to be not balanced, okay? What else we got? Yeah, this queen of cups uh in the upright is your energy you was very loving giving nurturing almost like a uh, motherly love you know what i mean you could be a mother as well uh, oh okay let's see we got the page of pentacles in reverse this person wasn't offering you any damn thing that was the motherfucking problem yeah but what they were putting work in Maybe they were putting some work in another connection though like They were putting work into another connection. All right, what else, spirit? Yeah. They, well, this was, okay. So we got the Empress in the Upright. This is your energy, right? You're the Empress of this uh, connection. An uh, Empress is someone that is spiritually grounded, you know, loving, giving, caring. Um, they help others type energy. Very good energy. And also... Um, you might have been seeing three three threes a lot. Synchronicity. Yeah, they want to offer this cup of love to this empress, which is you, in the upright. Right? Now, I don't know if you can take it. That motherfucker might be tainted with poison. Hell, at this point, you don't know what the fuck we're getting, right? What else, dude? I don't pull some of my Beauty and the Beast cards, too, that I made. Alright, so here... We have a Carmen, Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> so that was the issue with this connection. What went wrong? <laughs> that Queen of Swords. Or now they want to offer you this page of cups, this love, but they was giving it to this Queen of Swords uh, initially. So you was in a third party situation. Look at them holding on to shit they don't no longer hold on to this Queen of Swords. That's also what's blocking this connection. They need to let some shit go. Ooh. This wanted to come out earlier. Yeah, and you walked away. And they watched you walk away, which is fucked up. They didn't give a fuck that you walked away. And I feel like now that you have walked away, like, this person's realizing your value. Sometimes it takes, look, and they're going through a terror moment. Like, it's, it, it, it's fucked up that it takes you remove your energy from somewhere, uh, from somewhere because... I have to move your energy because somebody didn't recognize your work while they had you. And it always works like that, right? It's fucked up that it happens that way. But sometimes that's what happens. Yeah, because they was failure to make a goddamn decision. They was trying to juggle too much shit, give to too many uh, multiple energies. Yeah, it was a home life they were giving to. Could be a baby mama with a son. Or I'm even getting a daughter. But, yeah. And like the woman, she's looking like, looking like, like she's not happy. So somebody, it ain't happy over there with, in Car on Carmen Street with the Queen of Swords. This motherfucker, why she coming up at Queen of Swords? This bitch ain't happy at all. All right, ooh, then why she not happy? That shit, did y'all see that shit flaw my flaw and not my damn instant? Like Jesus. Yo, she mad because you, she mad because your person want to offer you this cup of love and want to come towards you. Same old damn song, y'all. All right, what else? 
Yeah. This person, and then I say it's like they stuck. Yo, I don't understand why, what they stuck. Maybe because it could be children involved that they're stuck. But they got their eye on you. You is the ace of cups. They see you in your glow up. They see you with this light. And they watching. They watching. They not really taking action, really. They just watching. Knight of Cups is someone, like, who just moving, doing shit, not really thinking of the consequence, of immature-ass energy. We don't want no motherfucking knights and pages on this goddamn table. That's, that's on guard. All right. And, look, this is a cycle that y'all had to go through, though. But this person is still not taking the right actions they need to, to close this cycle out. Which makes no fucking sense. You know what? I'm going to keep going. I ain't got time. So make no fucking sense to me. Stuck on stupid. That was here said. Stuck on stupid. I can't be so motherfucking smart, but so motherfucking stupid at the same time. Yeah, but they got this strength. Strength card coming to upright. They 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 getting the strength to come towards you and to speak up because remember I said lack of communication that they were bringing you it wasn't there. They and they probably didn't voice how they truly felt about you. So maybe they're getting the strength to come towards you or could it be a Leo and they Leo energy. They got they trying to gain this confidence. All right, can't be a Leo too. Spirit said, or have a lot of Leo in their chart. Alright, what else, Steven? Yeah. They trying to maintain some balance. They feel very unbalanced. They want this wish fulfillment. But true, they feeling unbalanced and overwhelmed. Uh, this connection could even overwhelm them a little bit. Yeah, they're definitely overwhelmed. I just had to take a deep breath. Calm my energy now. This person needs to meditate. Sheesh. Okay. Uh, but justice... Is in the upright, so film you getting justice. This is your justice. They have to sit there and watch you, your success and your glow up instead of being part of it. You know, they want to be part of your life, they want to be uh, in the midst of your success. They want to see you do these wonderful things that you've been doing, but that's the justice is being called. You know, the truth is coming out also, as well, as well as they got to watch from the sideline because they fucked you over. Like, they can't be part of your life no more. Yeah. And you in the Ace of Swords energy, like, you not fighting for this no more. You know, Spirit told you, you know, to let it go. And that's exactly what you did because I felt like you was fighting for this connection so hard from the beginning. It started to wear you out, right? Look, Four of Cups in the um upright, you was feeling drained. Like, this person was stealing all your energy, like, your good-ass energy. And you was just not getting what what you needed from this connection your queen of cups you was pouring into this person instead of in, more into yourself so that's why spirit pulled you back yeah but this is definitely your person bro look he he, he or she came up as the king of cups you know, it's ginger neutral. This person is your divine counterpart, which is fucking crazy. Yeah, and they feel very unfulfilled right now in this current connection with this Queen of Wands. Look, now the person in the Queen of Wands energy, this karmic came up as a Queen of Swords because she mad, she bitchy. And now she ain't doing shit. She ain't about shit, ain't doing shit. And the King of Cups like, I cannot, I cannot. Look, and he preparing to move the fuck on to get the fuck away from this motherfucker. He trying to, or she trying to. Now, how successful they going to be to get out this devil ass energy, we going to see. We going to see, right? Look, because that shit was so unbalanced, given all these multiple situations or given to this particular situation over their divine counterpart. This is, y'all is a pair, bro. Y'all is a pair. This is twin flame energy. I think I should have known when I seen one 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 on the clock. Twin flame, bro. This is your person. That's why this person is stuck on you. They will never ever be unstuck off you. Neither one of y'all. Y'all can't forget about each other. Y'all can't let this shit go because it's not supposed to work that way. All right. This is your person. You are the empress, and this person is not in the emperor energy as they supposed to be. That's why. Spirit was like, uh-uh, no, 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 how no, nah, how no. Nah. Yo, 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 look. The wine keep coming up. Somebody's in this lustful-ass energy, but they holding back. They won because, let me tell y'all, somebody got stuck called an STD from their karmic. 
they not sleeping with them or you because it is and you probably walked away anyway but they don't even try to make advances at you because they don't want sick honey they don't want sick they don't call it std what else yeah, that's look. That put a little. This person ain't put no more. They 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 not put no more work into this. They not. They not doing it. But also, this person's not learning lessons. They ain't learn lessons. Like if you what you want to get your, your STD, your 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 lady parts or your man parts to fall the fuck off to, for you to learn. I don't understand. Yeah, cause they was doing some sneaky shit. That why this shit don't feel. This shit burning. They burning. They on fire. Right? Yo. And now, I feel like you are in this queen of pentacles energy. Because you was up. This was, this was you on the reading earlier. I feel like my films are in that queen of pentacles. They focus on their bag, stability. They not focus on this goddamn connection. They know some sneaky shit going on. And somebody's trying to gaslight you and lie to you. Yeah, this queen of wands. And your person's in this king of wands and reverse energy. They're not taking no action. They're just doing that towards you. But they doing some sneaky shit behind your back. In front of you, they doing, they being this totally different person behind your back. They they talking about you, talking down on you, and all that other stuff. Because you is you and your glow up. They hating. They hating that they can't be part of this glow up. If they weren't meant to, because uh, clearly, Spirit gave you the chance and you fucked that up. And you're still doing the same bullshit. That, talking about somebody ain't going to change nothing. Yeah. And it's also why... They in a motherfucking commitment if, uh, or another relationship. Um, I don't, I, it could be verbal. could be understood. Don't have to be explained type shit. Yeah, but they're really with somebody else. That's also why they're not taking no action. Oh, this person got a little integrity. Damn. A little bit because where was the integrity for the queen of cups? My, my per like, what? Yeah, and you walking away. You're moving on. They want to, too. They want to go to common water because obviously this person a lot of drama. They're queen of swords in reverse. Look, confirmation. They had a lot of drama. It's a lot of drama going over there on Karmic Street. Yeah, but you was in your spirituality. You maintaining your balance, your home life. You doing good, going within, meditating and stuff. Spiritually, spiritually growing and shit. Like, you not really worried about that. What else, spirit? What else? Nope, at the bottom of the deck, the death card in reverse. Yeah, spirit has definitely put a halt to this, but it's not a permanent ending. I feel like also the death card is in reverse too because this karmic, this shit was supposed to end with the karmic. The wheel of fortune is in the upright. This was a karmic cycle that you guys had to go through and that y'all supposed to learn this lesson. And I say this person ain't learning shit. They ain't learning not a goddamn thing. This motherfucker ain't teachable at all. And they not learning. And they still in this devil-ass energy. Sneaky, lying, deceit, talking about you and shit. They hating. And this your motherfucker. How you hating on your person, though? This, y'all is two bodies and one soul. That's like hating on yourself. Like, that makes no sense. Okay. Anyway, we're going to lighten it up a little bit. That energy a little fucked up. This person um feel like they got a lot of burdens on them. All right. Oof. Watch out, Michael, come through and protect me from this energy. All right. So let's get some love messages from this King of Cups to this Queen of Cups. All right. But this ain't even supposed to be in here. I secret lust over you. I did not say this person isn't some lusty ass energy. They secretly lust over you. Y'all didn't even supposed to be on in here. How did that come in? Child. And that shit was about to fucking rip trying to come out. This person lusts over you a lot. And they feel like sex will fix everything. Nah, it ain't. It don't fix nothing. But look, a squirrel can get a nut. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I tell is as old as time. Yeah, didn't I say this is your person? Y'all been doing this for lifetimes. 
Also, we communicate through music. Yeah. So this person communicates you te telepathically through music. What else, spirit? And the highest, as ancestors of the highest white line, what is the message for my collective for this person? This queen, this king of cups to queen of cups. Yeah, when I look in the mirror, I see you and me. So when they see this, because y'all are, y'all are a reflection of each other. Y'all even probably mirroring each other. That's the funny thing. Like, you can pick up on that energy. Our love is as old as time. It gets no better than this. Yeah, they try to replace you, but they realize this person can never be you. Can't even touch you. Don't make them feel how you feel because you are their son. Yeah, I want to take long walk with you. And y'all probably doing the 5D. Spirit is telling me. In meditation, this person visits y'all and y'all take walks and y'all talk and y'all laugh and y'all have a good time. I see this you in 5D at the top of my deck. See, well, I can't make this shit up. Y'all take long walk in 5D. They Y'all visit each other at y'all higher selves. All right? When you hurt, I hurt. They don't like to see you hurt. But the funny thing is they cause a lot of your hurt. That's the funny thing. But they keep doing this shit to you. I don't understand that. And it's vice versa. When they hurt, when the, your person hurt, you hurt. And you can feel it sometimes. Like, you can feel it. So sometimes you be feeling sad and you want to cry. And you be crying. You be like, why am I crying? And that's your still confirmation. This, and that. And that be your person is crying at that time. You could be picking up on their energy. They really miss you, bro. It's sad. I have sacrificed myself for you now in past lives. So you guys, this person has sacrificed themselves for you in some sort of way. Okay? They saved you. And I feel like, you know, in Beauty and the Beast, how the Beast sacrificed himself for Rose. If that was her name. I don't know what her name is in the movie. But whatever for the princess. And she came back and sacrificed herself, her, to save him. It's like that. Now, this lifetime, last lifetime, um, I'm getting last lifetime, you, he sacrificed or she sacrificed herself for you. Now, it's your turn to sacrifice yourself for them. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, like, and when I mean sacrifice yourself, I don't mean like in a literal sense, like you may die, but it's some type of sacrifice involved in this connection that has to happen. Removing yourself out the way type shit and doing what's best. You know how people do what's best for them? Like sometimes you, in this twin flame, maybe it's something that has to be done that's a sacrifice for you that will save this person from this devil ass energy, if that makes sense. You feel like home for me, yeah? The home card came out. This is definitely Twin Flame. Our souls have danced together in many lifetimes. Oh, that's beautiful. And I see you for who you truly are. I see your soul. Didn't I say I'm seeing 111? It wasn't by accident. This Twin Flame message. We cause endings in each other's lives to get our new be new beginning together. Yeah, so then I say the tarot card is up in the upright. So you guys are both are having tarot moments so y'all can start this new uh, beginning because it started off, then it started off fucked up. I want to express my love to you. I just don't know how. So this person don't know how to express their love for you and they're not doing it correctly. And it's not definitely with your wand, your sick ass wand is that. It ain't it. Look, they, but they're manifesting you back in your life. Also, that could be them manifesting you. That ace of wands could be them manifesting you. But spirit saying, hell no, because you're still in this devil-ass devil energy, this fire-ass energy. you lustful. It's That's not love. Not saying that person don't have love for you. they just in a lustful-ass energy. And that's a that's that devil-ass energy. Um, I feel like you're too good for me. Yeah, because you, you, you doing, you know, you're a good person. You're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. And you're probably in heaven to your spirituality. And this person is living that devil life, sleeping with multiple people, drinking, doing drugs, and opposite of you. You know what I'm saying? So they feel like you're too good for them. Like, and that's why they in that Leo energy trying to get the confidence to come towards you. Because you can't half-ass no person like that. Like, they see through you. 
You know what I'm saying? Or they not gonna accept your lame ass offer. That fucking page of pentacles. Ain't nobody gonna sip that. That little ass, small ass offer. And then you still dealing with these karmics. Yeah, I visit you in your dreams. They all in your dreams. Get the fuck out. 717, look that um, angel number up. Also, oh, I got 5552. Five, five, Hold on. This is just a karmic cycle we both have to learn from. But then I say this person is not learning. This person's in the eight of, eight of Pentacles energy. They're not learning shit. You learned your lesson. You moved on. You grown from it. But they still fucking stuck. Uh huh. And then we got 555. Five, five. Angel number, and I'm going to say one more thing. I don't want to lose my train of thought. And when I first met you, my soul knew you. So they recognized you before you recognized them. But they didn't understand the connection. That's funny. They recognized you first, your soul, before when y'all first met. But they did not recognize the connection. That makes no damn sense to me. That's that's different. Your love you have for me is amazing. This person know you genuinely love them. And they feel unworthy of this love. Also, remember that sacrifice card came out? Maybe you have to sacrifice yourself as in sacrificing this connection to make to 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 save this person. Let me tell you, let me explain. Okay, so spirit is causing you to move, pull your energy back. Now, once this person did not realize this connection was what it was or what it was worth when you were there because you were constantly still giving to the situation. They didn't know how to feel for that shit to be to be gone, right? So now you don't pull yourself back. You're sacrificing your heart, your love, because you know your heart and love is with this person. So you sacrificing this connection. You sacrificing yourself, your love that you, you know, your person that you really, really want to be with. You're pulling back from this connection, sacrificing this connection that you really, really want deep down to save this person from this. Because this is going to cause them to start to reevaluation and to awaken. That energy pullback is definitely causing an awakening. And I think that's what 717 is. Don't quote me on it. 555 is change. You know that for a fact. 555, see this person is changing because you have sacrificed this connection to save them. To save them from this karmics. To save them from, from themselves even. We got the, we communicate tele, telepathically. Didn't I say y'all talk to each other all the time? Y'all may not be in um, communication. Or y'all may talk here and there, a little shit, like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> that little petty shit. But y'all not really talking about this connection. That's why the page of wands is in reverse. And it needs to happen. This person want to talk about sex, and that's the problem. That's not the issue. The sex is great. That's not the problem. I will never give up on us. They know giving up on you, though. They feel like you have, though. I run from this connection because it scares me. They don't know what to do with it. Because they never felt this way before. And that's why. Because it's twin flame. Ain't nobody else going to make you feel like this. No, no, no build a person. No build a bitch. No copycat bitch going to give you that connection. Period. I did not recognize your worth at first. Now I know. Didn't I say they didn't know till you left? Didn't I say that I can't make this shit up? Y'all. And I held you in my arms as you took your last breath. Yeah, you was there for this person. Always. When they took their last breath, you held them in your arms. Or you they held you in your arms, in their arms, as you took your last breath. And they all said, we're going to see each other next lifetime. It's okay, baby. We're going to be back together. Because y'all always come back together. No matter how it happens, y'all always find each other. Y'all souls find each other. Right? I will fight for this connection. They not giving up. Because they know this is some special shit. And no one can touch you even on your worst day. And then we have the confirmation AAA is on the top. All right. So now I'm going to pull. All right, I want to know what other things are blocking this connection. We got their messages. We want to know what else is blocking the connection. This thing is so big, y'all. Spirits and ancestors of the only white heights, white light only. All right, Archangel Michael, protect me as I channel these energies. All right, look, telepathically, y'all be talking like a motherfucker. Don't even know who you talk to. Y'all know y'all talk to. I'm just playing. Y'all know that's y'all person. Stop calling me. I should have put my phone on Do Not Disturb, but I like for ping to happen during my messages. 
because I want y'all to know what's going on. Somebody could be a Sagittarius and somebody is highly intuitive. Like, y'all intuition is telling you that this person is going through changes and you can feel it too. All right, let's see what else. Good time to take that one right there. So I'm gonna do that. So we got no one compares to you. Didn't I say that? What happened? I know I saw that card. I feel this is when we first met. You was I never get up on my face. I held you. I did not make look, they didn't recognize your worth at first. Now I know because no one compares to you. Now they see this. This some beautiful ass managers though. This shit dope. I say married on the bottom. They want to marry you. They want this for a lifetime. I just been asking for that for a lifetime. All right, what else we got? Look, I will always love you. I'm never giving up. Because why? They got love on the brain. I believe in you and me. That song by um, Mariah Carey. I mean, my Mariah Carey. Damn. Uh, Whitney Houston. I believe in you and me. I believe that we will be in love eternally. Baby, far as I can see, you will always be the one. All right. I ain't going to sing. I can't sing. So... This person could be a Virgo. You could be a Virgo. Uh, the karmic could be a Virgo because it came in the reverse. So I have Virgo in that chart check as it resonates. I have too much pride. So the, the masculine is omitting because those are masculine messages in the green. They have too much pride. All right, what else, Spirit? Answer the guys, what right? Like. Also, we got some Libra energy on the table. Let's take that one. That's taking the wrong way. Yeah. Also, could have some Libra energy or in a chart. Um, you was never mine. Uh oh, the feminine coming through. She think you was never mine. And y'all feel like fuck the gifts. Them ladies give that page of Pentacles. They they want. They don't. They not. They not. Y'all not in this. Y'all like whatever. Okay, so y'all really, y'all really over it. Y'all sacrifice. Look, I didn't even realize that was. Y'all fit my films. Y'all are funny. My queen of cups. Y'all are hilarious. Y'all like, y'all over this shit. This back and forth. This how you really feel. Show me. Show me what y'all saying. Put your money where your mouth is. Show me you really about that shit. Show me you want me. Show me you love me. Like, y'all over it. Y'all like. Show me this. Show me you really love me. All right? Also, they said, I run out of fear. That's why you over it. That motherfucker keep running. All right, what else? I ain't motherfucker. Legs are still. All right, this, what else? This person is dating. Your person is dating or you could be dating. Look, and they, and this is causing nothing but problems for this connection. Look, because somebody's not what? Speaking a truth, because what? Master said, I have a big ego. They love my big ego. No, we don't, but okay. I love his big ego. No, we don't. All right, let's see. You knew at the bottom of the, uh, at the bottom of the deck. New job done flew over here, y'all. Somebody getting a new job, period, poo. All right, and then we have, look, it's a new cycle need to happen. It came in the reverse, so this this is not happening. Why? Because somebody's not closing out some shit. That masculine. My family interfered with this connection, so this is why this new love cycle hasn't started. The family is interfering with this connection. And look, the people that's closest to you be the ones block don't want to see you happy. Like, look, and you got lipsticks. <laughs>
lipstick stains. This person is sticky, icky, icky, ooh, ooh. <laughs> sticky, icky, icky, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Collect, you read it, gay for pay. Oh, shit. Now, look, let me tell y'all something. I don't feel like this is for everybody. I do have some same-sex um, relationships on my channel, and I'm channeling this for you. If you're in a same-sex relationship, they sleep with people for money. You're masculine. That's how they pay their bills. That's what I'm getting. I don't think that's for if you want a girl boy or boy girl, and sometimes masculine energy can be a female, so take it as a resume. Resonate. Uh, but this is for my same sex. They're they're sleeping with people for money. That's why the lipstick stains is on their shirt. Could be female, female too. Or some males wear lipstick, so that's why they be they get sleeping with people for money. And that's also blocking this connection. And this person has a lot of anxiety because you are going. They don't feel like they are at home. Oh, oh yeah. No one can even touch you on their worth day. Then I said, there it goes at the bottom of the deck. Then I said, they said no one compares to you. My spirit guys don't play. That should be going together. Okay, you need to be going together. We're going to put some more allergy and then we're going to close this out, collective. All right, spirit guys in the highest white of the highest. I can't, I can't, no, I can't show for that way. Spirit guys, the ancestors of the highest white light. And I said, you give me some, I can't even channel messages for my collective. Why is it so hard to shuffle? Yeah, these cards. And these cards ain't even that big. These, I don't even think these are my big ones. No. Ah. It's like they won't bend. All right. Yeah, when I was feeling good, so I channeled this damn masculine energy. Good God almighty, they need to cleanse. Look, this shit gonna hit me in my face. A new start is coming. New moon. So, Spirit said, a new start is coming. A fiery climax approaches. Yeah, and the masculine with these karmics, they finna this, 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 don't reach his full moon in Aries. Ooh, Aries is some fiery ass energy. Yeah, this person gave somebody an STD. They, they, karmic gave them an STD. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely. So if you're being intimate with your masculine, still be careful. Especially for my um my same sex relationship couples. Wrap it up. Alright? Uh, hold your vision. Don't lose sight of this connection though. Hold your vision. What do you want to happen? Because I feel like you gotta be careful because your thoughts govern your outcome. If you think this shit ain't gonna work, it's gonna stay stuck, it's gonna stay stuck together. If you have a little faith that this person you can have faith of the size of a mustard seed, Jesus said. As long as you have that faith, hold your vision. Keep visualizing this person changing and being that person you want them to be. Or they higher self that you visiting in meditation and in 5D. Y'all communicating and everything good. Y'all happy. Y'all in love. Visualize that into from 5D to 3D to bring it to the reality, to bring it to our world. Our world. And also, it's time to release negativity. Spirit saying, let go of that negative shit, which is that devil ass motherfucking karmic. Release that negativity. Also, any negative thought, actions, let it go. Let it go, let it go. And at the bottom of the deck, look, your commitment is being tested. That commitment is being tested to you. You have showed. Your commitment has been shown. You was committed to this person. You gave everything to this person. And they gaslighted you and bullshitted you and breadcrumbed the fuck out of you. Nah, we need that whole motherfucking loaf of bread. Even the, the last piece of bread that nobody like to eat, we want that too. Period. All right? So that's today's love message from your person. Okay? Hope y'all enjoyed. Remember to stay safe this weekend. I should do what's the energy for the weekend, but I'm tired. I'm be fair. I'm be real. After this reading, I can't channel shit else because that energy is just all over the place, y'all. 
So, thank y'all for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you like me, like me. Thumbs me up, baby. Let's get this, this channel circulating and percolating and showing on the motherfucking boards on our recommendations. Okay? Period. Love you guys. Send you guys love and light. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe.